Bro, I'm not gonna lie. This would have been a great, great game to play when I was a kid. I would have loved. Did you never play this? No, I played Super Sonic Racing instead. Super Sonic R. Super Sonic Racing. That song does not miss. I gotta beat all the way up to fucking. Get that green duck for some completion. Somebody come get Jay. Get Jay. Get, get this man, please. He's doing the orange justice to Super that man, Sonic. bro. I love that song, man. It's such a great song. You think, oh I'm, you think I'm doing this bitch for free? Hell no. Absolutely not. What's going on, everybody? Um, thank you guys for attending today's podcast. <laughs> Go right into it. Um, so we're going to try something a little different this week. We're going to do a little uh, formulaic at the beginning. Um, Deacon actually has a manga minute for us this week while he's, I playing, do. he's playing Sonic Fighters right now. Um, yeah. I'm not going to... I got to work on you... this completion, my guy. What? What character? Is that Amy that you're beating up? <laughs> yeah. Yes. No. Bro, oh, that God, is, That is. is crazy. Why is she red? Um, uh, this I thought like it was Knuckles seven. with a bow on his head. I was, I was it, not even this, this is seven bit. Co- this is seven bit color. They didn't have eight bits. Okay, uh-huh. they didn't have eight bits. Uh, go back there. So anyway, Somewhere let's else. go ahead and get some um, get some announcements out of the way real quick. Um, how's everybody doing this week? By the way, pretty good. All right, man. Good. Mental health has been kicking me in my head. In all honesty, like, what, what are you, what's going on, DJ? Boy, what's going huh? on? You fucked up mentally. No, 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 not like messed up mentally, but like, uh, you know how like you be working on so much different things, and then you'll be like, nope. woof, 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 everywhere, like it's just yes, that yes. Jay. Okay, so you get what I'm saying. So yes. then, a, then you finally get that moment job. where you sit down and you like, it just hits you, like you, you just be just. I guess it's maybe fatigue. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Yeah, that's called burnout. I'm good now that's called burnout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, that's it usually burnout paradise for me. I'm not going to lie to you. It usually takes me out for like two, maybe three days sometimes. Like, I hope to God it like lands on a weekend sometimes. There's been times where like in the middle of the week, like in the middle of the day too, I'll be at work. I'll just tell my boss, hey, I got to go. He's like, why? What's wrong? I just, I can't do it. I can't do it today. He's it like, just be hit. It just hit. It just hit. And know. then I go home yeah. and I just lay down. That's it. It's I, mental health hitting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It really then my, not to mention my cousin was in the hospital like all last week. So I was Ooh. like... Oh, oh boy, I've been dealing with that. So they okay, but I'm good now. Yeah, we good. Mm. We good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. We are good. That is that is wild. That, that is man wild. was on a ventilator and everything. Like it was, we we thought it was over, COVID, but no, no, no. Oh, something with the liver. Something with his liver. Oh, uh, like a uh, liver yeah. failure. <clears throat> Shit. Yeah. So we are good now though. Oh. Hey man, it's getting to that time of year, man. It's getting to that time of the year. Stuff is uh accumulating and winding down you don't know what you really can mentally handle uh going towards the end of the year man you know yep, six season is upon us yeah it is there's some sick individuals out here man this is i seen um i seen an article the other day i think it was yesterday or this morning or something about how a bus driver was stabbed to death and robbed like <clears throat> on a school oh. bus yeah on what? a school bus while they were like taking the kids to school yeah, that shit was wild, man. Yeah, I, you know what? Actually, I don't think it said anything about that. I think it was one of the kids' parents or something. Because the bus driver had an altercation with uh, with one of the kids a couple of days prior. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. It's pretty crazy. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I was, think I heard about this. It was a little wild. I mean, there was there was a couple... There's been a lot of wild news stories lately, man. And it's, it's stuff out of Texas. So, you know, you Floridians don't have to worry about it this week. Yeah. <laughs> They, they got next week. They, they, got, they, next take this week. Week they got next week. We already got enough COVID oh, cases. You know what? We need to have Tony have his own like two, three minute segment where it's like today, today in, Florida. Location in Florida. On location in Florida. On location in Florida. That'd Today's be a cool crazy. Segment if I went outside, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah, but we're not sending you outside. No, it's a reason That's to not go outside. That's the thing. Today's That's reason thing, I did yeah. not go outside. <laughs> On location in my bedroom. <laughs> So, um, yeah, there was that. And then um, a couple other announcements. Let me see. Uh, does anybody have any projects, anything that they're working on? Uh, DJ, I know you got the, you're working with the org now, right? What's, how's that yes, going? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's that it is going out? great. Every time I look at my YouTube channel, every day I'm growing. So that's all I got to ask for. That's so what do they, what do they have you for, the, you know, everybody on the podcast that doesn't know, what do they have you do? What's the org? What I do is um, they will give me 
basically like well not even give me but we'll have these meetings where like we will do uh, outline videos for the month mm -hmm. like what videos i'm gonna be doing for them what videos like everybody's in the group is gonna be doing for them because it's like me and like three other people two mm -hmm. three other people so i will get like maybe one no i get like two videos a week i think yeah two two a week i have to do for them and they'll like say like it's an operator video or it's like a top five or it's like something like mm -hmm. that and then it goes up on their channel and then if people see it and they like it they tend to check out my channel and sub to it and that's how that goes so it's it pretty much just i do guys on my channel anyway so right same thing but i'm just doing it for somebody else so you know what's interesting is um i got hit up maybe it was two three days ago by uh some org i think it's like uh ace gaming or something like that i don't know if you've ever heard of them but mm -mm. i definitely have it so i sent him i sent him an email back i hold on let me pull it up right now <laughs> They were like, yeah, we would like you to join the organization or some shit like that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. What are you going to do for me? And I haven't heard back from them since. That's crazy. That That's what crazy. they're going to do for you. They're going to leave you on rest. Yeah, I didn't. I was just like, uh, okay. Because in the in the email, it says invite only. Join the early access program to get benefits and profile highlights and blah, 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 blah on their YouTube channel. Bro, I went to the. Oh, and That's they have their. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have yeah, their own app and stuff. I don't know about stuff. that. Man, no, they have a, this thing called White dog. Glove Service, right? Right here. Huh? This that's already <laughs> sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Personalized support service from real live humans. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, life, bro! You put one word in here, and it'll change the whole kind. Real hot live account managers <laughs> in your area that are supposed to help you get the most out of ace uh get the white glove service now bro I, i've never had anybody approach me talking about hey let me give you some glove service but i promise you lil nas x got everybody wilding this week i see this is crazy these people hit me up talking about oh man let's do this let's do that no thank you i'm not here for it el planco welcome thank you sir <laughs> yeah what's up good to see you good to see you so see like there what, what i get from the org is num number one i get exposure because mm. my videos are going on their channel which has like two hundred four thousand people so every video that they upload it Fuck. is get, going to two hundred four thousand people sub box so that's the potential of getting uh seen by those people number two they pay me per video so mm. that is something that's cool too so it's not just you, you get exposure we're actually gonna give you money for let this. me ask you a question uh is it like a flat out payment or does it depend on the views engagement like stuff like that it's it's like a it's a range that I, i'm pretty sure it does like uh agree on like or depend on how the good the video does so they so have like, like a lower end and they have like a, a, like a million views they would pay you appropriately to that yeah yeah that's fucking dope yeah oh yeah so and you say they reached out to you for that mm-hmm hmm, hmm. Mm. That's crazy. That is brazy. Might like, have to. I might have to see something real quick. What's it called again? It's been the the org. <laughs> the org. It's, yes, sir. It's pretty fun. The org is uh, Astralis. Astralis now. It was Disrupt oh. Gaming, but uh, you know who they are. Yeah. So Disrupt Gaming, I got real lucky. Honestly, mm -hmm. dude from Disrupt Gaming hit me like, "Yo, I like the type of videos that you make." Uh, we want to bring you on as like a, a trial content creator. I'm like, cool. I'll do do a couple videos for us. Did a couple videos. They paid me, and then Astralis came in and they bought Disrupt's whole R6. You know what that uh, sounds division. like? That sounds like pimping. That sounds like pimping. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, it's working very they, well. They put you. They put you if out I'm, on the street. Mm -hmm. If I'm, I mean, the streets is doing well for me right now. So I'll, we listen. knew you were for the streets. You trying we to know it for the streets, Kanye? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, man. Look, I might have to get out here for real, for real, because this this is very good for now. This is very good. I'm loving it. So, do you so, see? Do you see like, uh, I guess, long term effects? Like, what do you see from this? Like, how long do you think they're gonna have you on here before they're like, "Hey, Rainbow Six Siege is dead. Can we can we get you on this Fortnite?" You think oh. they could get you on Fortnite, bro? They give you a dollar? No, a it's gonna be dollar. Valorant. It's gonna oh, be, it's gonna Valorant. be Valorant? If if they switch games, it's gonna be Valorant. It's gonna so. Be Valorant. But what if they that's what they originally reached out for me not to like they were like yo we like our your C stuff and i see you do valorant too right right so right. i can now do what if they or. don't put you on valorant after after siege quarantine you know all this or what is it outbreak 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So say it was all quarantine. of this, if it they, was if they don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. like if they just and say, they're like, like, hey, can we get you we, on they Fortnite? Cut, they cut me. We spe- no, like, no, no, they're not going to cut you. They just want to reassign you to a different place. Like they want to put you on Fortnite. They're they're like, hey, we. And I like have to do Fortnite. They're, yeah. they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the contract we got you, you feel on. Like we you want you would to pop be, off in Fortnite. You feel like you would do Fortnite? You Sick you would 90s, pop off? let's go. Sick 90s, kids. Uh, I'm not good at Fortnite at all, bro. So they pay you like, with V-Bucks, though. Hey, they, they pay you. You see, I, you know what I would do? You know what I would do? I'm taking the V-Bucks. I'm not going to lie to you. I would, uh, I, would, I would make it so that, honestly, I wouldn't even have to play the game. Oh, the only thing that huh? I would be doing. Let me hear me out. Hear me out. I'm listening. Free game. Free I'm game listening. right now. Go ahead. Yes, Fortnite the is thing, free Well, game. I won't yes. say I won't have to play the game, but I won't have to be good at it. Like, the only thing that I would do, right? They say, yo, we put you on Fortnite. I'm saying, okay, I can't crank 90s and all this stuff. I, I would literally 90s. go into the news guy. I would be the news guy for mm. Fortnite. Oh, what's what's going okay. on? What's the Venom new Leaks DLCs they're okay. coming out with? What's the Store. new costumes? <laughs> Like all that other, this player did this today. Like what's going on in the pro scene? Like that, that would be, I would become that guy. Honestly, honestly, that makes a lot more views because uh, Destiny 2 has a content creator exactly like that. His name is Houndish. Dude just posts like, this is what's happening this week. And he Mm -hmm. posts like three videos. He, he's on his shit though. Cause like he'll post a video, he meet like fucking 10 minutes, not even like five minutes when the thing is actually happening. The video is already up. And like edited fully, like really well done. Cause he's so, probably like, paying attention to like the, the he has like probably forums and stuff he's oh, looking at where dude yeah. has dude not only has connections, but like he also yeah. has like a team most likely. So yeah, yeah, that that's actually a really smart move. I would do that. That's exactly what I would do. So that way I don't have to like because it was siege, I've been playing for siege for so long that like I won't say like I'm high tier at it, but I know what I'm doing. Like I, I could do a little something in siege. They put me on Fortnite. I right, bro, it's gonna be bad if you want some advice from me on Fortnite. I can't tell you, so that will become the, literally the news guy. The, the thing is, uh, like when, when with enough time, you just know like what you, what something plays. Like it's one of these things. Like if someone's like, "Oh, what what, we, what would you do if you had to fight this character with this character?" Like yeah. you probably never played it, but in your head, you can do like the simulation because you played the game so long. You're like, "Oh, I probably have like a 50, 80 percent chance of beating her." Or oh, whatever. right. Okay. Yeah. I like. I see. 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 I wasn't. I wasn't on board. I wasn't really getting it until Tony said that. I, I vibe with that because that's how I'm so good at Apex, but I'm so bad at Apex. It makes sense. Like, like well, my team should yeah, be it's... winning because of my callouts. That's what it is. Right. That's the thing. You can be good like with all the information. You can be good like knowing playouts. Like if if you're a bad player like mechanically, but you know a good player, you can make them even better with just the information that you have that they mm-hmm. don't have. Mm-hmm. Because you could tell them like, "Oh yeah, this character is really good against all these characters, but if you do these certain things, then it, you can actually overlap a lot of other characters and shit like that." And then the good the good player could be like, "Oh fuck, okay." Like mechanical mechanical information or mechanical skill is really important but the amount of time people have put can it can't outweigh that because like a good player can fuck up a real like a god player if they don't know the game yo i'm gonna tell that to my girl next time we have bad sex i'm be like hey, hey hello can fuck up <laughs> i'm gonna be like hey hey, hey hey listen good players fuck up know, too man. sometimes we just gotta coach you're you know not on I mean? my you're not on my level you just yeah yeah your level you, was not matching you, where i was i got the game way. i got the gameplay hours put in okay <laughs> it's you it's man, your i carried you to an orgasm yesterday fuck off see yeah, that's, that's what, what i'm saying that's why i don't think they would put you in a game that you don't know nothing about valorant like valorant or like just you being on siege would be the smartest thing because like, yeah. you're good at the game and you know you have knowledge on the game. Yeah. Okay. That's like, the name of this episode. But if they were the hypothetical, <laughs> I would definitely the news realm is definitely what I would be going into. Like and they they am, he actually said that to me for siege. He was like, yo, we don't really have a news guy. So if all else, if this doesn't work, like we see you did the news stuff before, you can literally be the news guy. Like mm-hmm. they they've already told me what's gonna happen. So well, I, I have a question. Let's be real. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Come on, be real, real. Let's let's be real with me. Okay, it's you. It's you and me. Ignore all the other. Bots, okay. All right. Okay. What that pay like? What that pay like? Nah, don't don't ask. What that pay like, bro? What that pay like, bro? It's not in the no, NBA. No, no, no. DJ, we talked DJ, about it. It's not in the no, NBA. Don't, don't, all right, DJ. DJ. All right, let's, let's let's put it this way, DJ. Don't give us the number, but are you comfy with it? Do you like the number? Yeah. 
The fact yeah. that it was not an immediate yeah. yes kind of yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All no, right. because it's a here's the thing, right? It's not like a uh you say let's say uh you are like a top tier concert creator, right? You got a bunch of subs, right? If somebody like a hundred thieves or NRG picks you up, you gonna have a contract where you can live pretty comfortably off of that, right? Mm. If you somebody like me that's looking for more for like growth than an income type of thing, right? The income is yeah, it's all right for me, right? But depending but on how many videos I do, goal. yeah, right, exactly. I'm not if you're going in it for the money, like right out the gate, and you don't even have that type of viewer base yet, you looking at it wrong because your money gonna dry up because that viewer base is gonna be stagnant. Mm. DJ, DJ sound like every big streamer right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm for real. For the money. He, he really, he really talking about. Oh, I, I started doing this for fun and blah 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 I, blah blah. I started, I started do, like, I started yeah. doing my YouTube channel immediately because I wanted to get paper. Like, I wanted to get money immediately. Yeah, so I don't understand I, why like bigger, bigger content creators be like, don't do it for the money. No, no, no. That's not I, what I'm saying. I, that's not what I'm saying. Because if you say if somebody approached me with a contract like that, then yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna go for it because what's the chance that you're gonna get this type of payday again, right? But if somebody approaches me with a base that I can grow off of in order to I have like this this type of money right now, right? I'm getting paid like this this flat amount or whatever. How much the, was it my again? base starts to grow? I didn't I'm, hear you the first amount. How no, much was you it? said this amount? Get out, Jay. <laughs> this is, I have I, they have a base for me, right? Mm -hmm. They provide their base to me in order for me to gain exposure off of that. When they start to come to my channel, my income is going to start growing off of my channel, right? That's what I'm looking at. More though more so than can, like a contract type thing. I can see I can see where you're getting at. It's just for me, I kind of question it because like all you like you you cover you you cover like two of the most popular games in the mm. world right now. So like the 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 audience is there. Like all you're really doing is uh, having the big channel piggyback their audience to your channel. But Which is here's the thing, is. right? Here's the thing. If you're if you're just not just starting out, but if you upload a video, right, there's a bunch of mm -hmm. other people that's trying to upload videos just like you are in order for it to become the big time content creators, just like you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what what is going to differentiate them knowing who you are? And them knowing who this other person is that's doing the same thing you're doing. You got to make moves in order to get people eyes on your stuff to have them yeah, know you who you are. Niche. Exactly. Exactly. So if I upload a video, right? So what's your and niche? My niche for Siege or, or just like in, what, in you, what you mean? Like in general? Like what's your, what's my, your my thing. My thing is like is guides right now for yeah, seeds that's the thing it's that's everyone's guide that's everyone's niche like right I'm saying, exactly. for me for me i i cover destiny too i do content but i'm also starting to cover fashion on it like the fashion side of destiny too mm. which is very niche subreddit for that yeah exactly so like i'm i i'm already at like destiny 2 which is like the third popular game in steam right now mm. now third. i'm going even further in the niche yeah uh now I'm getting getting even further into the, uh, the niche of like fashion in the game. So like, but, so count. this this is what I this is what I mean when I say that, right? <laughs> if I were to upload a guy video, right, and somebody mm -hmm. else were to upload a guy video, because that's what everybody's trying to do, or that's what everybody's doing mm -hmm. when when it comes to siege. Say I have my my three thousand subs, right, and they have, let's say, they got we'll say they got more than me. Let's say we we'll put it at like five five six, right. If I upload a video and they upload a video, but so I, my video is not going to my 3,000. My video is going to 204,000. Whereas their not video. Not under your channel. Right. But all of my stuff is credited in the video. So people are going to know who I am from watching Nobody, the video. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a bad move. I, I see the, I see the merit in it. It's just a. Uh, like I probably it depends. You know what? Let me let me let me actually think about it. If like if an organization I actually fucked with asked me, I would probably do it. But the the contract would look would have to look really good. Mm. Cause like exposure is cool, but I don't keep I don't, don't want to 
I don't want it to get to a point where like I'm not growing mm. and I'm still there. See, but for me, I'm growing every day. So like okay. it's it's cool. And the I, the thing is with this one, I'm not even bound by a contract. Like if something were to happen tomorrow and I blow, they say you you can leave. Like it's it's all good. You could just go. Oh no, man, that sounds suspicious. They hey man, it's working. It, it, it's and definitely not. I was gonna say, I think they got you in a 360 deal, and you don't even know it. Mm -mm, you know what I mean? Mm -mm. Like, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, I'm like, it's all right. If you're DJ. happy with it, then okay. whatever, man. Where but they do, money? they do own your content, though. They do own it. On it, own it how? On 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 the, on, the, on the, their the, channel. on their channel. They own it. any any content that you make for them. Do you own it or do they own it? He didn't get that far into the contract. He signed. See, oh, no. <laughs> you see, they did no, no, get my no, no, man no, in the no, 360. No, 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 no. What we're asking, what we're asking is, if one of the videos pops the fuck off. Do you own the video or do they? I do, because all my stuff, all my, I'm credited. So if they decided to take but all your videos your down right now. But it's my video. But it's but, not your channel. It's your, but it's it might be your video, but it's under who, their channel. Let's ask, let's ask this way. Who, own, who owns the legal rights <laughs> to the video? You get it, Deacon? That I thought I knew. I heard something coming out the window. It was weird. That that I can't answer. I don't know. Uh, okay, that's the thing. That I cannot answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that I can answer. I'm so, sure. that's my four million view video. And so Where's most likely they own it. Yeah. If it's on their channel, they own they it. Probably they own can it. do whatever they want with it. They, they can kick you off the you organization. Can, you can stay. You own it, but yeah. they have it under their channel. That's the difference. Is is if they kicked you off the organization, right? Boom, boot you mm -hmm. out. They let's, still benefit from your videos and don't have to pay you anymore. Let's, that's let's, what I'm saying. Let's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, so they own the, they own your content. I can, I can see that. Yeah, not, I'll, I'll not having that. a that's not having a contract. It's good and bad at the same time. Because like in, a, in like let's say in the contract, you were to sign a contract where saying even after I leave, all of the like whatever half of the proceedings that my videos make, I I still get fifty percent of that cut even if I'm gone from the org. Uh -huh. Like that would be under contract. You would still be getting that money even if you left. Right. with no contract you have not you don't even have that you don't even know if your videos are yours let yeah. me let me ask you it this made way them, but you might not own them if you if you were to put a copyright claim on a video so you get the money are they coming after you in court i don't know but they can do the no same clue. to you because if, if they nice. threw you off the org and you said hey you know what fuck that i'm gonna upload the video i uploaded on their channel i'm Whoa, gonna upload that on my channel you. they can hit you with a copyright yeah they sorry, could. Sorry, we own that so if you did Listen, a guide man, and you, decided to, if you to join it, yeah, don't don't let if, us for no like, no do no, anything. I'm still I'm still don't if do you it. Join it. Oh no no, yeah. I'm just saying like, I probably wouldn't ask none of this shit. I'd just be like whatever. I don't care. Like yeah. these just, videos, just, I'm, I don't yeah. care if they're making You're money. You're paying me. I might as like, well hop on the I'll hop I'm on the train. Just, exactly. I'm yeah. just I'm just trying to get exposure. I don't give a shit about the money. Now, if if one of the videos pops off and gets like fucking ten billion fucking views, then I'd be like, yeah, this, where's, where's and, my, and they still only slice? give you the yeah. fixed where's rate that you agreed upon. They give you, know? you 50, the, 50 dirty that's dollars on that. Like, yeah. they'd be like, thanks for the do video, bitch. Do you get a percentage of the video that does well, Doubt or it. they just pay you the flat out fee? It's it's a flat rate. <laughs> it's a flat rate. So. <laughs> You hold so the video you're pops not even off. That much. Said, you not even gonna see here. all of that. Hey, come here, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make that fucking video. Bro. Make no that video, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, my make thing, my thing video. right now is shit my thing right now is, is said, definitely make that I'll fucking focus video. on exposure rather than that at the moment. Now, if something pop, we'll see. Damn. I don't know. It just it kind of <laughs> seems it kind of seems seems like you're in an internship internship. Oh, my thumb it's is like, bleeding pay now. You, we'll pay you an exposure. And that's cool and all. My thumb is bleeding? No, it is. It actually is. Like, there's like a... <laughs> that's crazy. Bro. Yeah, it's kind that's of gross. Got a, little, got a little too rough with the chair yeah, there, sir. Yeah, I've had this weird infection <laughs> Damn, on myself DJ? for a minute now, but... Why are you throwing it down? Like yeah, I'm, it's huh? still dope, man. It's still yeah, no, dope, no, no doubt. Man. If it yeah, works yeah. out for you, go for it, bro. You're doing, you're doing it big, bro? Because, uh, you know, they still, they still give you money for a video that gets 200 views. You should just know the like the dangers and like the pitfalls that comes with that. Like, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, the video goes pants. really well. I yeah. fucking. <laughs> Listen, this oh, is, this I hope to be this... honest with you. I hope your videos do mediocre, bro. Yeah. I, I hope I, they I do. I hope they do better than good. I don't want them earning more than a dollar they're paying. Ex exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. I hope they're not getting rich off of you. That's what I hope. That's what I hope.
So but this, these are these are good growing pains to figure out before you know you get into a situation. Where because it would be yeah, it's better to learn this now than under a contract because, than knowing your. Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Um, which MCN was that? That that got like they had like federal issues or some shit like that because they were yeah. having like Full so many stream? people. Jo- it was full stream, and then there was like one other one, and so they were they were basically signing anybody and being able to monetize their content, right? So they were making pennies, but taking like forty percent of every mm-hmm. single dollar. But they had like a hundred thousand oh, creators or something like that. They had like a huge number of creators, and they were just taking like nickels and dimes from from them, and it was like. It didn't equal out because the creators were getting like diddly squat and weren't able to do payouts until they reached a hundred dollars, but they were able to get their money instantly. So if you made, you know, a dollar on a video, hey, we taking forty cents of that. You making six, mm-hmm. six, you know, you making sixty cents. Well, if you multiply that times a hundred thousand people, <laughs> multiple times a week, they were they were making bread, bro. They were woo doing nothing doing absolutely nothing and they had contracts with people saying hey by the way we can kick you off the org and still use your likeness still use your videos still use all the marketing material everything so every year they would take like a certain number or number of creators and just throw them outside the platform just just done find it and I it would remember de- it would, uh, the exact story yeah it would <laughs> automatically demonetize all of their content because that was content that they had uploaded and they would either take the videos down if they weren't videos that were doing well or keep the videos up and then give none of the credit to the original creator. It was like, it was real, 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 real bad. That shit was crazy. So, and I was part of that shit. It was, I, I was on full screen and there was one, TGN, that was another one. TGN, re- yo, TGN was really fucking it up. Yeah, they was doing people dirty. Yeah, I heard they, about they that. They was taking everybody. Oh, you got, yeah. you got 30 subscribers? Oh, we take that. We take that. Come on over here. Yeah. Come on. Because that's you, how they made their money. They would get all these a pool of just small right, people. Right. Right. Oh, you making eight then, cents a video? No, we mm-hmm. making six cents a video. Like, <laughs> like they yeah. was really I, fucking people. I, I, so. <laughs> I remember when uh when I st- I started getting into like editing videos and shit. Jay was told me he's like if if we ever get an email from an organization, just immediately don't don't accept it don't think about it like we're not we're not doing it he got bro he was so paranoid about that shit yeah no i had gotten fucked like a couple times out. that's why they bit me yeah. over shit what that's why like Damn. when i started my channel you i was like I'm gonna, yeah when what? i get it when i get an organization like hit me up i'm gonna have to have you read it with me yeah one of them to, one of them fucked. i i had signed i think it was <laughs> i think it was like makers it was like a company maker's that studio. maker had owned um so it was like under maker and like maker was owned by disney at the time and so they were like oh yeah we have all of makers resources and blah 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 and we'll like pair you together with other content creators i was like all right bet so i sent my manager an email i was like hey do you think you can get me a meeting or a phone call with this particular creator right it was like it's like it had like a hundred thousand subscribers or something like that and he was on he was one of the featured creators on their website i was like yeah just send him an email his email is literally right there and they were like well we can't really do that because you're in a different part of the organization and we don't really pair the two, but we have this other creator that we could pair you with. Bro, it was this motherfucker with like 18 subscribers. And I was like, okay, no disrespect, but I was at 5,000 at the time. So I was like, what if, What am I supposed to do with this? Like, and it seems like this weird, like part of, of YouTube <clears throat> in this, in this uh, eco space really, that people are really catering towards the beginning of like having a YouTube career and trying to get your first hundred and first thousand subscribers. What about us motherfuckers that need tips that are in between like large milestones? You know what I mean? Like not profitable. Uh, th- see, that's what's weird. That's what's weird. Because that's, if you're that's, that's if you're over 5k and trying to get to 10k, right? You clearly mm. are monetized already. You're probably mm. spending some money to invest to try and grow your channel. No, 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 no. You're, you're more you're likely to spend more money than you are one of these other people. You're thinking about it different. It's more it's more profitable for the people who are making the videos that are like, get your first 100, get your this and get your that. Because it's easy. It's easy to make those videos. Look at yeah. all the channels in YouTube where they're literally right, like, right, we'll right, help right, you right. get your, get, we'll, help, we'll help you get your views. How Your first 100 subscribers, your first 10,000 views, how to get partnered, how to do this. It's all catered towards the beginning because everyone's trying to do it. Ah, okay. If okay, if if everyone sense. wasn't trying to do it and everyone was at the middle part, people people would be making parts for the middle. 
there's mm-hmm. some channels that obviously do parts for the middle but that's few and far between most of them are just like how to get your like every video they make is a fucking variation of how to get your first 100 subscribers slash viewers slash this slash that and then just mix it up over time Five mistakes youtubers think, make when just starting out and stuff like that think of it like yeah, this like, right? would you rather take on the pride the project of somebody with 5k set in their content already have a path cleared out or would you rather build up this barely starting youtuber to be your content machine to just farm shit for you i mean i guess yeah when you put it that way that makes more sense yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and there's more, more money there's gonna be it, more people it makes more yeah yeah at the beginning it than makes there are more in money for yeah, yeah, yeah for those guys because like the statistics of people like hitting like 10 10k on on youtube it's is less like, than one percent it's less than one exactly. percent so of like, people on that have youtube channels that have more than ten thousand subs compare that yes. to the people who want to start uh, channels and then Everybody. never do it because you know no one no one has the balls or strength to do it that shit is wild, that's bro. why i think that's why no one does video videos like that you know what man i think i'm a, not profitable I, I think i'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and just uh pay one of these start uh, your bot own farms. mcm i'm gonna I'm 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 start one of these bot farms bro. Mm. because yeah. um i know for me i'm i'm mad <laughs> irritated about this shit. i know i complain about this shit every single week but like Bro, I'm tired of uploading videos and then they're like, mm, looks like 10 more people left your, <laughs> left your YouTube channel today. Um, that shit is mad irritating, bro. That shit is a- absolute ass. Social and, uh, blade real quick. Yeah. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. To, you don't need to do that. Deacon, I, I'll donate to, you, to your, uh, whatchamacallit, right now. Just, you know, just shut the fuck up. How, mu- how much to shut the fuck up? Deacon, for real, how much to shut the fuck up? At this path, I don't know. Shut the fuck it. up, yo. Uh, anyway, so uh, listen, listen, listen. Check this out. Check this out. I I truly believe that there's a conspiracy against me, just me specifically. But I like to hear people winning. Tell me, how are your views this week? I meant to ask Audience, you that. Let me, let me tell you right now. Mm-hmm. I've heard that like line fifty times uh, within like that this month alone. I've heard it like maybe fifty thousand times throughout my lifetime. Mm-hmm. So, fifty you know, times within the past thirty days. <laughs> you know. Uh, my views, my views are dope. Uh, like it's pretty weird because I'm I I'm like around a few uh, content creators that like started a little lower than me, mm-hmm. and are now popping off. But they're popping off in ways that I I stopped doing because I didn't like the like the audience that I was gaining. Mm-hmm. Um, like there's this one there's this one channel I like I like the dude he's pretty cool but he makes pure tutorial content, very short tutorial content that's like not very like. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't it's not very informational like he tells you what to do and like what to, like but it's not like the information I like where I give you like builds I give you like actual detailed organ like organized things like if you if you want this exotic you're gonna want to use this you want to use this build you're gonna want to do this you're gonna want to at least be this light level the dude's just like oh this week you get this weapon from this nightfall and it's really easy and do it and I'm like I I could do that it's very simple mm-hmm. but I, I have this level of like quality that I want to keep in my videos. So of like let me ask you a question. People. Do you <laughs> feel like sometimes that because I, I had to Google earlier this week, I was like, mm-hmm. what does it mean to be too smart for your own good? Right? To where you're you mm-hmm. know the knowledge too well of like how to maneuver in certain spaces, but it takes you away from being able to make great content. Do you feel like that's a barrier? Where you're like, yeah, oh, let me definitely. get the information across oh. instead of being a clown okay. on my on my videos talking about 360 no scope and you know almost like a Fortnite yeah. creator, you know what I mean? So the thing the thing that I struggle with the most is uh, because I I like to make my videos very like tutorial and organized and like give you as much information as you need so you can thrive. That tends to make very long videos, mm-hmm. and the audience, at least this generation, is looking for short short content short like five minute videos of just what the fuck do i need okay cool i'm dipping and that's how i feel about a lot of stuff i'm not gonna lie to you i'd be yeah. skipping around in videos i'd be like yo this is a 10 minute video it really could have been three minutes like <laughs> like hurry the fuck that's up the thing. that's that's the thing i've heard people say that like man the video is really long it's like yeah it's really long but it's because i'm giving you information about the game itself like right. if i'm like my channel it comes across as like you're brand new and i'm teaching you step by fucking step so you saying, let me like, hold your hand. Exactly. That's what you're saying. Okay. All right. You hold your so, hands with children is what you're saying. Huh? I didn't say that. Yeah. I, didn't say that. Why are you I just, I just wanted to confirm. I wanted to make sure that's not what let we're talking about. Closet. How many skeletons do you have in there? Huh? Sir. First of all, sir, huh? this, 
the stuff you see in this background, this is the size of my entire apartment. What closet? What closet? No Wi-Fi. Oh. No Wi-Fi. Oh, damn. What closet? Thank you. Never mind. Right. My apologies. Yeah, exactly. So I got a question, right? I got a, uh, while we on subject, mm -hmm. do you think, because I've been thinking recently, right? When you're making stuff like that, like the guys and the bills and stuff like that, should you try to shorten it to the best of your ability? Because people are going to click on long videos, but only if they know who that person is that made exactly. that long video. Yeah. So if you shorten your stuff to as short as you can with the amount of information that you have to put in it, I think people are more likely to click your well, stuff because it's short. What, what, what I've been doing is, so I've started to like really cut out the like the like the meat of it like oh i just i'm just telling you like the build the weapon and the strategy and that's really it i used to mm. give a lot of a lot of other information now i'm just trying to get the information like as fast as i can but mm. i also cut it into into pieces so like if you see in my newer videos uh, in the timeline you can actually see like introduction uh build uh weapon stuff like that oh so i love people it like, i love oh. it when people do that oh it's great dude yeah so like i'm the video I did the other day, I was showing off like my Hunter, my Titan, and my Warlock, all the fashion shit that I did, because there's like a contest going on right now. And I I made Hunter, Warlock, Titan, end credit, intro, and that's it. And like, mm. the thing is, my videos, it's weird. My videos don't do well initially, but then they'll like start picking up really fat, like really a lot later on. So. Do you have like a know. gaming intro? Like, like, no, the, you no. ain't got the, you just, you just, I feel like that's, that's yourself. antiquated, bro. I feel like it's, nobody, it's a, that's, that's a waste of time. Yeah. That's I feel like it's a waste of time. I mean, it, it'd be something if you're like one of these like informational content creators, like, you know, when you're looking like a, like a Tim Schmoyer or a fucking Roberto Blake or something like that. And they're like, mm. today we're going to show you how to get this many views on your video. I'm going to show you this SEO trick, blah, 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 blah. Stay tuned. And then it goes to like, you know, like a quick little swipe Facebook. thing. Yeah. And then they start like that shit right there, bro. I'm skipping past it. It is. Do people like that? I think people do like it. Um, I think the average person really does fuck with something like that. It's almost like they're watching a TV show or something, but mm. I didn't come to the internet to watch TV. All right. Actually, I agree. I I would I would agree with a, a DJ with this one. It's only for it's only for the big content creators that can get away mm. with that. Yeah. Not small content creators. Mm -hmm. Like small content creators, just get to the point because people are going to be like, I don't care who you are. I just want to see the content that you're making. I want to see the information. And then if you give the information and they actually like it, that's when people actually like your shit. Like I think right. once you become a big content creator, you're allowed a lot of luxuries that we're not allowed, obviously. Yeah. It goes without saying. I even but... I even feel like sometimes like it's just too much to even ask at the beginning of a video to be like, hey, remember to like, subscribe, even though you need to do those call outs because some people just don't do it unless you tell them to, which is psychologically weird. You know, like for any of us in the call, if we see a YouTuber we like or a content creator, we're automatically just gonna oh let me click subscribe let me click like like no. it's almost automatic you know what yeah, i mean no like, i don't That's when you like I somebody forget. Mm -mm. i forget you be forgetting i don't i don't i don't forget yeah, yeah. There, there's a bunch of people whose videos i watch and i don't sub to them if That's i the watch thing. two videos from somebody back to back i'll sub to them i just That's i like, i do it up of i mean i've done it literally well see this is going off of tiktok like i'll be on apex tiktok and then they'll be like oh i have a full video on my youtube channel swipe do 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 and then literally as i'm watching the video hey guys make sure to like okay well like subscribe boom bam and then on another video i'll do the same thing even without them asking for me to like and sub and all this other shit like well, yeah sure. the thing is it's it's not like it's not malicious from my part it's just like i forget like I, bro i have add like i i just immediately forget i'm trying yeah. to like get information or like i have like a million things on my mind most of the time so has that so, ever worked on you where like oh, yeah, I, if someone's like, "Oh, don't for, don't forget to like and subscribe," I've caught myself saying, "Like, how the fuck am I not subscribed to you, bro?" And I subscribe. Mm, okay, I've, I've so, done that before, why, but there are channels that I, I just don't. That's I don't sub. That's to. why. That's, that's why probably the because they're like important. regular channels that you view, and you don't have to. They just show up in your feed or something, you know, or like in my recommended, or either in your recommended, mm -hmm. or you purposely go out of your way to check this person's channel. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. like. 
Yeah, you don't have to. Most of them just... reaction channels too. Like some of them are reaction channels. No so. wonder. Yeah, you don't want that shit in your. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. want other people. They, they you do, want five, those they do kind... five, six videos a day. Like yeah, I ain't trying. Yeah, to... yeah, yeah. I understand. That shit'll clog your feed. Yeah. Not only that, then it'll start recommending people who do similar content, and mm -hmm. you don't want that. I only want to be recommended this one specific person. Okay. All right. All right. That's like that. I I like I like the new way that people are doing it. Instead of saying it, a lot of people will have like a little animation where it says don't forget to like or sub subscribe and all that. Bing. I like that a lot better because it doesn't yeah, bing, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe while I'm giving out the information. Because at that point, it's not like intrusive. It's not like so let me ask you a, a lot of a lot of people what No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Cause a lot of a lot of the time when when people like when they bitch about oh I hate when, when YouTubers ask for like, comment, and subscribing, it's because it's it stops the the content it's an immediate mm. stop so it's like content 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 oh remember to like and, and com comment and all this other shit and a lot of people don't do it well you ruin They'll my like, nut be like oh yeah it's like oh here's the last on uh, point number five of why this gun is so good don't forget to like it, that shit immediately pisses me off and i click i'm like i don't care anymore like whatever so let me ask you a question do you feel like that works mm -hmm. on stupid people like, yes. like they don't, they don't even be paying attention to it. I mean, I they just be like, I don't oh, even shit. think it's stupid yeah, people. Right. I think it's just, it's just people who are not like, they right just be out of the it. moment. Yeah. Like for me, like, it's not like I'm not dumb. It's just, again, I'm not I'm smart thinking about, either. I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> I didn't say, I didn't say that either. <laughs> like it's, I'm thinking about oh, my thumbnail that I have to make. I th I'm thinking about the videos that I have to make. I've, I'm thinking about like the five games that I have to keep playing. I'm thinking about so many things. And then when someone's like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, then I'm like, fuck, how am I not subscribe to you? I'm not bad, man. And I just subscribe immediately. Even if I watch like one video, if it's really good, I'm like, that's that's a good video, dog. I'll go into the channel, check it out, see if they have any good shit like that, and then I'll I'll sub. But sub and come. <laughs> sub and come. Come and um, sub, sir. So um, I, it's that's kind of how that's I feel thing. about like gaming you, articles too. Like they just mm -hmm. mm -mm. like trying even trying to find topics for today's podcast. I was just like, it they forced me to like a lot of publications I don't really fuck with anyway, just because they spread a lot of misinformation in the gaming sphere. Just from like they know people only read like the titles and like the big headlines and stuff like that, the text in bold type shit. So it's like when they put certain things in 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 those bold lines, I'm just like why the fuck like it's it's hard for me to get attached to it which i guess is you know honestly why gaming print or like gaming mm -hmm. like journalism is dying and they have to resort to like this clickbait tactic because they have to compare themselves to youtubers you know it doesn't like, even have to be clickbait bro kotaku's biggest article right now is i hate myself but i love taco bell's new chicken sandwich taco what the Hello? fuck game, Wait, it's what? Not gaming related <laughs> huh that's that's not fucking look, bro look oh. it i'm telling you look at this shit. what the fuck there's an actual taco right there yeah. Bro, yeah, I do hate my life just looking at this picture. I'm not gonna lie to you. Exactly. See, I'm just. But the thing is, the thing is, it's it's not even hard to make like a publication for for gaming, like. It's really not. The problem yeah. is the the problem is that they they shoehorn a lot of their political views and whatnot, and a lot of it's just like SJW shit, where it's like, why the fuck are you talking about this? Not I just, just that. Know if the game's good or not. Not just that. They don't have anybody to get attached to. No, there's no reason for me, like, no actual, aside from reading this fucking article, there's nothing that's going to draw me to this website. Like, I remember when me and Tony were working at GameStop, and they had first started the, the GameStop TV thing where they were hiring oh, yeah. YouTubers to yeah. come on there. And they were still getting shit views. Like, even after circulating their own YouTube videos in all of their stores, they were still getting shit views. So it's like, you need that personality. And what makes it difficult on these specific websites is I'll go to it for a single piece of information, right? Like, like uh, when we were talking about the uh, Marvel cancer, cancels uh, the what was it guardians uh, of the, the galaxy. guardians of the galaxy right and then i go to it and it's literally nothing but exposition on guardians of the galaxy the game and i'm thinking they're talking about the movie because they used mcu in the title and i'm like okay well yeah that's marvel cinematic universe these motherfuckers talked about the discontinuing of one of the comic series for guardians of the galaxy there's still four other ones so it's like bruh and then it's not even a video that's the thing. I had to read three fucking excruciating paragraphs of exposition before I realized this article's going nowhere. And it's really only four minutes of reading in total in the entire article, right? 
But for some reason, when you look at this big block of text, I'm like, I don't want to read this shit. Get me off this fucking mm-hmm. website. Get well, me off this shit. I mean, I'm going back to Pornhub. Fuck this. Text and print media has been dying for a long time. A lot of people will argue. Give me an audio option. Give me you an know, audio option with know, a little button at the top, and you just click it, and somebody reads it to you. It's it's dying, but it's dying because they're they're poor. They're making it poor, like just stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I still it's read like, books. Like, bro, it's not even hard. Yeah, nobody it wants really to read about not. this fucking Taco just, Bell chicken sandwich thing. Bro, I'm intrigued all, about all that. Is, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> all it really is, all it boils down to is this is how the game plays. This is how the game is. I give it a ten out of ten, a nine out of nine, whatever it is, yeah. and uh, I highly recommend it if you guys want to check out the actual re- uh, video review. We have it up in our channel. Uh, George or whoever it is is reviewing it, and that's really it. That's really that's, it. Oh, Tony just made a fucking TikTok. That's a TikTok. Oh that's God, a, that's, that's a the length TikTok. of a fucking TikTok. That's, really it. that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, I'm nervous for manga minute now. That was so short. Maybe I should. Bro, sh- literally, over this. They, they could they could put. It, you gotta go is, rewrite it. And this, <laughs> the thing is, the, the problem with like gaming in general is just that a lot of it is either evolving too fast or it's not evolving enough. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, and that's, I've, gaming news articles is literally like that. It kind of falls onto the critics as well though, because like I, I see a lot of critics now. They're like. They feel like they have to have a personality review in game. Your power of a critic doesn't come from your personality. It comes from your consistency of reviews. Like, no matter who the critic is, as long as they're consistent with their taste, any critic is like... Bro, useful. you can't shoehorn your bias in there. If you tell me that that, that The Last of Us 2 is a SJW nightmare, and then when I play it, Abby is beating the shit out of people, I'm like, where's the SJW? Because all no, I no, see no, is this buff no. bitch beating people up. That's all I no. see. <laughs> no, see, so there's power in that. If you want to shoehorn your bias into it, go ahead. But be consistent. That way we can see, like, all right, I don't agree with this person's views. He hates like women. Game. Right, yeah, right, if, right. If this guy hates women and he hates <laughs> this game, I probably like it because I love women. That's somebody, I would go to somebody like that who hates women for, like, a dead or alive review. Because I really want to see, like, like how misogynistic can you... It would be entertaining at that point. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like people would be trying to cancel him left and right. But I would watch something like that. I really would. But if somebody put their personality into that, though, wouldn't that make that all the better, though? Like, like say yeah. if somebody... It depends. Depends. Yeah. If, 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 if watching somebody forced... like... Watching somebody like Jay do it ah uh, no no no, no. no we've we've that, already established nobody watches jay for anything we've already established <laughs> i mean i've been if, making content if, for if, almost for about 10 years now nobody watches jay we know this think consistently like this. no 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 think about it like this if if your boss was like okay i need you uh i need you to make this this review for this uh for this video game okay but i need you to be to add a lot of personality into it first of all i don't know what the fuck that means uh what the fuck do you mean by that second of all i'm just gonna review it how i usually review it and then at that point, you st- you have to start like going out of your comfort zone to review a game that you probably don't even give a shit about. I True. guess personality maybe that's something probably... that you put into the review that you don't Pers- give a shit. Yeah. No, Pers- if somebody like yeah. if somebody told me to put my personality into something, I'm just gonna joke around the whole video. Like I'm just going. I'm, I'm I'm that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask questions. More more funny, more all that stuff. A that's lo- that's all I'm. Gonna a do. lot of what I want, like if I were to review a game, I'm asking questions. Like if a game starts up a certain way, the first thing I'm gonna ask is. Fucking why? Why is this in here this way? Why did we behave this way? Why is this character like this? You know, that's my my take to adding it in there. So when you ask me to add more personality, my general thing is just I want to ask niggas why? For what? Like, what was the reason of doing this? Because now I want the person reading this to realize, damn, why are they doing that? I'm not buying this fucking game. Like, this shit is ass. No thanks. I don't, I don't know. Personality was the right word. I guess, like, just show your bias, I guess. But basically, like, reviewers need to be consistent. <laughs> so if we disagree with them, we we can still take something away from that. Like, right. oh, they love this game. Right. Probably not going to like it. They hated this game. Probably going to love it. You know? Like, uh, whenever <laughs> I watch Angry Joe, I just, I have, there's a certain point where he starts talking about story and I stop listening because this guy can't read a fucking book. So it's like, and his reviews be like, 40, 50 minutes long and shit like that because he wants to add sketches in there. I'm like, let me skip past this. Okay, go, okay, go, 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 go ahead, go. Yeah, I just need to know need... what's in the game, what's not in the game, Joe. Exactly. You, can still you don't need no 50-minute review. That's a little people, long. 
See, that's because no, Angry I mean, Joe likes to I, dress I like up. And, so? Yeah, he likes to dress up and, and do skits and shit. It's like, okay, bro, we get it. You're too fat to be an actor. Okay, we get it. You suck. Oh, you have God. no personality. You're wow. a shitty fucking person. Bro, like, first Whoa. of all, Angry Joe is disgusting. Like, Angry mm -hmm. Joe is a, a, as, a, as a human being is, is fucking where disgusting. Where is this coming bro. from, bro? The him, I, I lump him in with Ethan Klein. Like, all of these fucking weird white dudes, bro. These guys, bro. Yeah, no. These guys are fucking weird. So, him making a 50 what minute, him making a 50 minute video and it's unnecessarily long like bro what is in the game what's not in the game shut the fuck up like i don't he's not funny like it, it all this shit is trash it's, like it's fucking it's garbage, just not bro. it's fucking garbage okay so meanwhile that, I, meanwhile though if i see the god low tier god do a review for a video bro i'm absolutely on it you know why because his jokes hit He's fucking funny. He addresses me directly as a fucking person. Bruh, yeah, no. Nah. Leagues but see, far, far that above goes back to the personality thing we was talking about, though. Is that not that, putting personality? That is. That into... that definitely is personality, for sure. Right. For sure. That's that's yeah. that's what his, I was his saying. His attitude, his demeanor, the way he speaks, his cadences, all that shit. Like, that is very important because when I'm listening to Angry Joe, he has no... He don't got no feel to him. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just watching it's this bland. sale. It's, it's bland, bland as fuck, bro. I might as well have a bologna sandwich and eat it through my asshole. Like, it's just not, it's just not hitting for me. Meanwhile, low tier, my boy, LTG always comes through. This man be making videos just about nothing, and I'm entertained. Like, I, I really am. It's the misogyny for me, honestly. That's what it is. It's the Tony, why are you looking confused, bro? Why are you looking confused? Because, like, <laughs> if this, if this, if this, if this was, like, a fucking content creator that had like 10 views sure 10 con then fucking subscribers sure but the man's pushing how many subscribers true like, true there's yeah, a lot of angry white like, teenagers on the internet though don't, there's a lot of angry I, white teenagers i enjoy his content i don't enjoy the skits but i enjoy the reviews yeah. like the thing is just say he's not like just say he's not your cup of tea like you don't nah, have to nah, nah, nah. all that no 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 he's definitely trash he's for sure trash Absolutely. Oh, trash. you met him before. I I remember I remember the Mass Effect review that he did, and I was even having a, having a conversation with Sergio back then about it. And he was like, he was like, yeah, I don't know why the fuck he needed to make this forty seven minute video and just to explain that the Mass Effect trilogy is good. Like we already knew from you know your original videos or whatever. And he was like, yeah, Joe gets to be a little bit much sometimes. And like he just does he just does extraordinary like. Like this over the top bullshit for no fucking reason that doesn't land properly. That's what I don't see, like. I, I can see it if was you're like building up a joke. Nah, I can properly. see. I can the see if you're building up a joke. How many views? Though? That's cool because there's a lot of angry white teenagers that agree that, that oh, women God. should there, not there, be in video no, games. I, that, I will agree with Jay. Yeah. There is there is yeah, a bro, standard. He's, he's he's reaching a certain level of like incel community that they're just gonna rally behind him because he hates everything. Like that's there, not, there is a certain type of of like niche not niche that you can fit into but there is a specific type of video that some content creators do be making like like a joe or angry or angry joe that you could see what their viewer base yeah, is that, like, they, I, they I just get don't he, like anything on purpose saying. like you know what i mean like they're being contrarians on purpose and i feel like sometimes he genuinely does not like dislike a game he's just trying to live up to this angry joe fucking creator that he made you know what i mean like I, I truly do not believe... Because that's the box he like, put himself in. Yeah, I truly do not believe that he hates every single fucking game because, like, some of the shit he be saying is just fucking wild for no fucking reason and doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not mathing up to me. You know what I mean? And he's really just trying to pander to a specific group of kids that are neckbeards, you know, still holding on to their virginity. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's not... It's not hit. It's just not hit, bro. Isn't like, that the goal of any creator, though, to foster a community? Obviously, that's I mean, the I, get, that I guess them up. in that in that regard, then yes, that's not my cup of tea. I'm not an incel. I go outside and touch grass. So yeah, mm. there's there's that. I I can't. I the rest of that shit, not for me, bro. Not for me. I think I I watched maybe like there was a good couple of years. I was just watching his views, like his uh, his videos consistently. And I was just like, I remember all three of the Batman videos. I remember those because he dressed up. He had like his little Hispanic friend or whatever dress up as Robin and run around his house while he chased him with batteries. I was like, bro, who likes this goofy shit? You know what I mean? Like none of it made any sense to me. I was like, what's teenagers? I, yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, who is I this mean, really entertaining? You know what I mean? Back before kids were stealing restroom equipment from schools, maybe. <laughs> nah, we was always doing that. 
There's always oh, stealing. Goodness. There's always stealing. I feel, I, I feel like DJ and Jay both missed the point I was trying to make. Yeah, I must have missed it. Yeah. I must have missed it. Yeah. I must have missed the it. Point, I had something to get off my chest. In, bro. in its layman's terms, even if you don't agree with the reviewer, there is information to be taken away from every reviewer, as long as they're consistent. Okay. If, yeah, if yeah, they consistently sure. dislike the games you like, if they dislike a game, you could be like, I'll probably like it since they don't like any of the games. So how I much do you question I'll, when, when they I dislike it? I don't know it. if I agree with that. And yeah, I was going to say, how much do you do you question this creator now if they dislike a game that you found that you loved and you thought your your stuff was aligned? You know what I mean? Like, um, it just I, means you don't have the same taste. Yeah, That's this growth really as it. a person. I used to hate fucking JRPGs and, and long textbook-ass games, but Yakuza. I was gonna say my man is eight Yakuza games deep, mm -hmm. wrist deep oh, in this bitch. Ten if you can't judgment. Huh? Yeah. Oh lord, I was just counting the ones with numbers. Mm mm. I mean I get that. There's been like a lot of people who will be like, oh well, you know, I don't like The Last of Us or whatever. I'll be like, okay, it's cool to be wrong. Right. Well, know, what else don't cool. you like? So I can try out some good games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very interesting. And That's I, what I, I was getting at. Yeah, yeah, I say that probably because people are, you know. We can definitely for sure, 100% say there, there's a community of people out there that just really just don't like shit just to not like shit. Because the mm -hmm. fact that people are sending me death threats over like, you don't like my favorite Assassin's Creed. And it's like, bro, I don't know you. You still get hate. That's some of the craziest. Bro, one That's dude the... doxed me. One dude straight up put my address in the comment section. And I was like. How'd you get that? I mean, it was what? my old address, but still. <laughs> it was just like all because I didn't like a, a video game that you, you liked. Like, oh my god, I mean, how could you say this about Atho? Assassin's territory. Creed 3 is the best and blah blah blah. I'm like, what? Bro, that comes with the territory of literally doing anything on YouTube. That's, that <laughs> shit is weird, bro. That opinion. shit is weird. That shit bro, is weird. Like I mean, there's a, there's a lot of weird people on the internet, man. man. There's a lot of weird people on the internet. Hey, Remember when uh, I really be wanting to, Red was getting death threats? I really be wanting to see what some of these people look like, though. I really wish there was like like some black mirror type shit. Like when I look at a comment, I can click it and see what the fuck you look like. Cause I I, I really believe that some of these motherfuckers really just not I keep bringing up black mirror uh, because it's it's a great fucking show, man. I don't know what to tell you. Listen, just because you're not with the shits, okay, and you're not watching it, we're watching great television, okay. It's on Netflix. Take your time to go watch it. You definitely would enjoy it. You absolutely would enjoy it because every single episode of Black Mirror has always had me questioning like reality and society and all sorts of shit. Like, w without a doubt. Every single episode. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he's touching grass. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is what the fuck is Deegan doing? He's like, I'm touching grass. So but I say all this, like, you know, to bring it up originally because we were talking about like uh the Marvel's Avengers thing. And oh, yeah. uh, and how they still haven't added Spider Man in there. So that's a little. The game's a that's year old, coming. and it's like never coming. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to even bring this up on the podcast is specifically like gaming as a whole, right? Let's let's look at everything. Do we really feel like shit is in a bad place to where companies now feel like they don't have to finish games because when a game comes out, they're like, "Oh, we'll just patch it." That's how it is already. That's what I'm saying. Like that's how it's been. That's how yeah. it has been, like, and and it's I, been it's been like that for how many years now? Uh, wait like three since or the four. internet was got integrated, yeah. yeah. Since actually, I think, yeah. I think there to was be like, fair though, was like to be fair, I think it was really just the fair, PS4, Xbox a lot of, One generation. A lot of people, a lot of people who 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 like to fucking get in this weird shit and say, "Oh yeah, back in the day when video games were finished." They were not finished. Mm. No, 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 no. A lot of the games back in the day were either not finished, buggy as shit, or all of the above. No, so let's no, not act see. like this is no. new. Back then, they weren't bugs. They were in the manual as features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's not act like, oh, shit, I can do this really cool bug in the game back in the day. Like, this, I love nostalgia, but let's not have this romanticized, like, idea that all the games were perfect back in the day because they weren't. They were then not. What was it? There was... I think the biggest bug I know was like <laughs> Sonic on the original um, Sega system, where if you nudged it too hard, it would completely corrupt the game and it would throw you to a mm -hmm. bonus level because it didn't have a way to fix it. I'm not gonna hey. lie, that sounds kind of fire. You beat the game it's, and then you're just like, not, hold up, Timmy. It's, <laughs> it's one level. Smack <laughs> the fucking console. Beat this level, bitch, and then let's. <laughs> so I feel bad. like, but I feel. I mean, I agree with you, Tony, but. Also, at a point, I feel like a lot of games back in the day, 
became more create like not more creative necessarily but they had more to offer because of time constraints they were like oh how much can we do with this amount of time you know what i mean it's just like let's get real creative about the way we fix some of these games like some of the some of the games back in the day that used to have like invisible walls and stuff like that and they would just make the character fall off the map and die because it's like hey we didn't have enough time to finish the game and actually put an invisible wall like a barrier so we just make sure that you die respawn where you're supposed to be you know like stuff like that or uh oh. certain games where you accidentally no clip all right and then they have like there's, rebound effects there's a good example of of a game that really does like invisible walls well it's called scarface that game does invisible walls really well because <laughs> if you swim too far a shark actually eats you so yeah. the same thing they put in like, gta 5. like <laughs> like there's a you mean i mean the game came out how many years ago compared to gta 5. yeah, yeah. no we're it's, saying yeah scarface i'm saying it works before i'm scarface saying it works the first one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 essentially those are like good examples, but they're still bug no bugs nonetheless. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's another another good example is there's like an older um, motocross racing game where you're like in this dip in this ditch, and they if you try and get up, it. yeah, if you try and get up the walls and get out, it's like everything surrounded by you is a minefield, so you just blow yeah. up and you oh respawn back on the track. Yeah, nah, this shit is. This shit is different. Gaming I do, fucking sucks. It does. Yeah. It does. I do feel like this is a little different. Depends. Depends, depends where you play. If what you, do you if mean? you're playing in AAA land, it's it's dog shit. Mm -hmm. If you play in like fucking indie games, shit's fire. Here's a, here's my issue with indie games though. Ah, uh, there's there's tons of indie games out there where there's a lot I of really good ones. Them. You know, I've played my fair share of just like, oh my god, I didn't realize this. Don't <clears> starve <throat> is one fucking transistor like. For it, for sure, I love a lot of indie games, but is it a gamble sometimes? Yes, I feel like it's more of a gamble sometimes with an indie game, just because I don't want to lose my money and then them not being able to fix it, compared to a AAA game that I spend sixty dollars on and then work and taking an entire year it? and they still don't fix it and it takes an entire yeah, year. Yeah, but then fun. we get stuff like Battlefront Two, where when they do fix it, it's fucking fire. So it's like. But you also have. Anthem. A little too late. Oh. No. Oh yeah, that's... Anthem was tough, man. Anthem was a tough L, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you because that's seven dollars like, still crazy. That, that twelve dollars for me, that shit hit. They gave me a free copy that's, and I spent twelve dollars on it because I bought it, the console the version same, too. The, the same problem lies with. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the same problem because that one's leadership. Yeah. That one's different. That one's that one's way it's still different. A problem though, it's still a problem. It's, it's a problem, but not the problem we're talking about. That's what I'm saying. The, the thing is, like when when I when I buy a AAA game. I know for a fact that the price is not the problem for me because I know I'm going to have enough fun for that price. Oh, because you got it like that. Like, you could. No, no, because like sometimes a, a triple A game is like, what, 60 bucks? Am I really going to have not that mine. much fun? For not mine, games? not DJs. Them shit's $70, fine, fine, sir. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. This shit's $70. Uh, uh, indie game, $20, $30, $40 if it's really good. Mm hmm. I know I'm gonna have much uh, that much fun for, for that for that price point. Mm. Easy. The thing is, I like I see a lot of people. Oh man, I'm I'm burnt out on video games. I'm burnt out on this and that. It's like, well, you you're playing AAA games, right? Yeah, that's the problem. They're trying to milk you. They're trying to keep you in that rut of like, I got to keep playing the game so that way I can earn more points so I can get the new thing. It's very uh, it's an abusive it's objective like that. I mean, mm -hmm. Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't treat me like that. Spider-Man doesn't treat me like that. Bad example. Yeah. That's again not the not the games I'm talking about. There are Those outliers are for every example. That's, exactly. that's what I'm saying. They are not. They are not. What is it? What's it called? They're they are not the uh the exception. they are not the example. No, they, they they're are not the, the exception. Yeah, yeah, they're the exception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I mean, for every so, Miles like, Morales and Horizon single, Zero Dawn. Like obviously, I'm not talking about single player games because most of the time, single player games don't have these problems. But then we have games like the Lord of the Ring games that had microtransactions in them, or Far Cry. Yeah. that have microtransaction them even though they have no multiplayer right right for every so, for every miles and morales and, Creed series too. and horizon zero dawn we have things like battlefield 5 and cyberpunk and shit like that what i'm wondering is uh when when are we gonna have a solution for it you know we what i mean or no. there, no, there has to there this has to be life. something for it this like if, like if you could come up with a magic scenario right mm -hmm. to make this this particular situation work what would it be 
You have unlimited resources. Yay. You can Activision. unlimited resources. You I personally would, have would, unlimited resources. You can reach companies. whoever you need to reach. Like, we make we make a board like the ESRB, but you, you get it through the you get it through the ESRB mm-hmm. and you get it rated. Then you have to get it through this next board, uh, and to get like a quality assurance passing for general consumer population. Right. It's like you have you have to meet this minimum requirement of fun, um, not scammy standard and it actually work before you get released. Right, right. So, so a Congress of gaming, a will, a, a, yes. a, will, a House of Representatives. Yes. Uh, right, uh, rep- right, right. Yeah. Okay. What? And is this funded by the government or is or are you funded? You gave this? you gave me unlimited resources. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just saying because that sounds like a great idea. Because all of these games mm-hmm. have to go through the ESRB in order to even be put to market anyway. At least in America. You know what yeah. I mean? In in I think in. Europe and the UK and all those every, places. Uh, if I'm Pegs. wrong, they have I believe the, every games get rated worldwide for. Yeah, release. they have like the the Peggy system, which is mm. just like a spinoff of the ESRB. I I like that idea, Deacon. I think uh, I think that's doable. Actually, I, f- I feel like that's a doable thing because the ESRB was created what because of Mortal Kombat in the nineties and, Gra- and, and Grand Theft Auto. Um, yeah, and night not night raid. Um, the full motion video of the house with the girls and the robbers i forgot the name of it oh, yeah, yeah yeah i know what you're talking night about. trap or something like that yeah, all yeah. i know is them niggas made sure i bad. couldn't play leisure suit larry and i'm pissed i'm pissed i played it um, okay you can play it yeah i can play it now I'm but cool I, I'm, I'm cool too. i'm cool it's not the same i, I remember ordering this well, i remember 15 year old 15 year old me had a different boner than me now you know what i'm saying huh? like i'm not i'm not don't act like that's not what that game was for the fuck the motherfucker talking about Listen, I don't want to talk listen, about fifteen-year-old boners. I, so when you were fifteen, you didn't get boners. I'm not talking about it. I'm not fifteen anymore. <laughs> this man trying to sexually—he talking about. I don't want to sexually harass myself. Tony, Tony, back me up here. When you were fifteen, them boners hit different than they do now, right? Uh, okay. So <laughs> the problem with, with the problem with like Deacon's point of view is the fact that it's easily corruptible. Oh, I mean, easily the ESRB is just easily as corruptible, but it's still that's here. the thing though. It's already corrupted. Mm. Everything is just gonna get corrupted yeah. at one. So what would you? What, what would you do, Tony? But see, the, the difference is, Nothing. I started the board, so I'm lining my pockets. True. He said it's good for me. He said it's good for me. True. There's no, there's no solution. Humans are just generally just dick, dick faces. So you don't so, even want to try? What? Nope. What's the point? It's just gonna get corrupted. <laughs> He's not wrong. I'm not wrong. He's not wrong. Game developers. This man's face, yo. I'm not wrong. You can you yeah. can, it's the same it's the same argument. People are like, oh, one day we'll get world peace. No, the fuck we won't. The fuck kind of no. stupid idiotic thing is that's that? never gonna we'll happen. Never have that shit. Human that's greed and, and human greed, human hate, human all this shit. You think we're gonna have that? That's okay, very nice. <laughs> I'm just joking, hey, bro. If it's if it's gonna be corrupted, I might as well line my pockets. I mean, at True. that point, yeah, I probably would do what 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 he did, just you know, for me. Yeah, they're gonna be fun for me. Cause like, what, what what do you want me to say? Oh, I would make it for the players, by the players. I would have a team of players, uh, be the. Be the <laughs> No, we change E3, free to the public, and you have to vote on which games get released that year. The best type of system is the least evil. That's all I that's all I can think about. So that would just be let all games go. Bro, you know what? At this point, maybe. Let's get rid of the ESRB. Everybody can release what they want. Teach your kids, That'd parents. Wild. Teach them but critical thinking. That'll never happen. You that you're giving too much responsibility to parents. They you had a whole year. Give your kids iPads and just your, chill. Not your having kids to were out of school because of COVID. You should have been teaching them something. You really think that's coming across a parent's mind? No, it came across my mom's no. mind. Your mama your is not the. She, your mom's she bought, not the rule. She, is the she bought me Vice City and said, "You know the difference from games in real life." I'm like, "Yeah, I can't shoot anybody in real life." All right, have fun. I don't know. My I didn't even get that talk. My first game as a kid was Metal Gear Solid. You don't. We cannot yeah, keep bringing this game up once a month. <clears throat> it's a good game. Just saying. Just saying. I'm happy it's over. Yeah, I love that shit. At the end when they all Just died. Saying. Oh ah, man, that fire. was crazy. Ah. So you know what was wild? The secret ending when they turned it into a uh, like a fucking slot machine? That really fucked me up. Oh my god. 
I liked it when they added zombies. I hate hate all of you. I hate all of you. I can't even agree with that with a joke. I know, right? It's gross. Game was caca, bro. No, um, I had to I had to order a pizza. Um, because I'm 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 gonna be stress eating tonight. That's all. So okay. oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be real stressed. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I said nothing wrong. I stand the by what I said. Is that? Somebody's murdering their chihuahua in my lobby. Nice, so. nice. World star. That's pretty sick. Um why don't we start this conversation off? We I I don't know. I wanted to talk about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, but now I kinda don't care. <laughs> I, I, love, I can't wait that for that shit. Is, bro. I'm excited for it. They're That's going to be character. amazing. They're adding um, a new character, apparently. They're yeah. adding a lot of Tiny stuff Tina. because uh, it's the first game that border, like the first game in the series where we're going to be able to create our own character. Top yeah, it's supposed to be like D&D type shit. Yeah, How about they fix their first piece That's of shit cool. fucking game, man? I'm excited Whoa! about that. Yeah. How about they fix Borderlands 3, motherfucker? Nah, I'm no, cool. Let's just, Why would they do just that? It just, makes sense. Just act like it never existed. Retcon you know that what? shit out. Why does it matter? Because you're just gonna die one day anyway. Why are you even playing video games, bro? Like, <laughs> so I can enjoy my time true. before I die. Yeah, yeah. This shit we is, gotta kill this some time crazy, until man. we die. No thanks. That got dark fast. fast. Man, I want to die, but I at least want to have fun before I die. Yeah, yeah but I'm oh trying to get God. there faster. So you should just sit in the well, dark, hey, man, and you... do nothing. Play, Where am play, I? Play gun person. What are you doing? Playing gun person. All right. Well. I'm looking at stuff for Halo Infinite right now, and uh, I'm kind oh of the technical test. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen next week again too. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I played they it a, a couple they times. They didn't put week. anti-cheat in their beta. Fucking moron. Why fucking would, beta. For what? For what? People are gonna you cheat. You only play Whoa. against bots. Yeah, they, they didn't put anti-cheat. Bro, they didn't put anti-cheat in Vanguard's beta. You People fucking complaining about that? People already cheating on Infinite, bro. Game's not even out yet. There's no yeah, problem with so that. Yeah, so what's the matter? Yeah, See, people are going to cheat anyway. It's bots, man. Tony, Who cares? They, well, they get the system well, information on how they're cheating in the beta. Hit them with the anti-cheat. You know what? That's really. actually pretty That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart, actually. I kind of vibe with that. <laughs> I, I can't talk my way out of that one. I, I could. Mm-mm. Oh, man. All right. Um, well, they, it's only against bots anyway, so it's not. A oh, really? Game. Oh, yeah. Well. There, there's no multiplayer. It's just you play with friends against bots, basically. Wow, well, that that's sounds the like only fun. multiplayer. Yeah. The bots actually, low key, they be hidden. Low key, <laughs> sometimes they be dumb as hell. But those bots, <laughs> I got, ki- I got clapped a couple of times. A couple of times. That's pretty much it for me, guys. Deacon, um, what are the? Before we get too far. An hour into the podcast, um, an hour fourteen. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what are the what are the games for Xbox Game Pass? And, oh and, man, and uh, PlayStation Plus for next month. Let me just bring this up real quick. Yeah, take your time. Uh, take your time and go ahead and do that. I will say. All uh, right, you didn't give me the PlayStation. The PlayStation Plus games haven't been released yet. They've only been leaked. It still counts. Uh, all right, it still counts. What's PS Five get? Jeez, suck my dick. Hold on. <laughs> I would also like to know what PS5 is getting. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> yes, sir. We live in the future. Yes, we do. <laughs> we live in the future. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, I hope you're happy because here is the leaked games for PS5. Hell Let Loose. I don't know what that, that is, but I'm excited. Let's go. The future of gaming. Exactly. Uh, yeah, don't get too excited because the other two leaked games are Mortal Kombat X and PGA Tour 2K20. I'll take those. PGA? Let's go. Yeah, I've, I've, been, wa- I've been wanting I'll to get into golf. Let's get my Tiger Woods, baby. That's exactly I'll take those. what I said, Tony. Like Mortal Kombat no X one is again? Be playing Mortal that Kombat game is X. old as dicks, dog. It I is. want this Mortal Kombat. Fucking Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 10? 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how long ago was that? five years ago? Wasn't that 2018, I think it's though? more than that. Uh, let me check oh, the release date. MKX. No, nope. April 14, 2015. Yeah. <laughs> Six, almost seven years ago. We we have a whole new Mortal Kombat. The future of gaming, baby. The future of gaming. Let's go. We going back. No. Deacon, Deacon. <laughs> it's not only do we have a Mortal Kombat, we, we already have a Mortal Kombat that's ended. It, uh, Plank, it actually ended already. Oh, yeah. yeah. It ended already? Yeah, it already ended. No, no more DLCs, is, no more. What is? Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. You mean it's? Who was the last one? The last one was the. Uh, well, yeah, Tank. until the next one comes out. Mortal Kombat yeah. is eleven. This is how you know Mortal Kombat. Like any. First of all, this is how you know something is old when GameStop is giving you sales on top of sales. Because as soon mm-hmm. as I googled Mortal Kombat eleven, the first thing that popped up was Mortal Kombat eleven now on sale for nine ninety nine. And I'm like, oh well, 
That's how you know there's, a, def- there's a definitive edition. There's mm-hmm. a, no, no. There's a definitive edition that comes with all the characters. That one's nineteen ninety nine. Oh, excuse me. I fuck with that. Even new, new, yeah, we do need characters? Injustice 3. Mm-hmm. Injustice 3. I would oh, kill for Injustice 3. 3. Man. We already got Mortal Kombat 11. It's essentially the same thing. Well, no. It's, it's, buddy, it's okay. smoking crack. I see, I see you because the joke is in there. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I, I, need an, I need more story for Injustice. <laughs> yeah. <Yo. laughs> All right. Either way. Hey, man, go on. Say, they in there doing something that's not Pepsi. <laughs> It's like yes, getting sir. the it's like yes, getting sir. to heaven and finding God smoking yes, crack. Sir. Lock the door. They doing something. Oh that's not my fancy. god. Hey, you know what, man? I'm cool. I'm cool. All I'm right, done buying like, video so... games for the rest of the year. There's only one more game I want in the next year. Forsaken. That's it. Aside from that, Dying Light 2. And that's really it. I can't think of any more games coming out. That man, you know what's dropping uh, in like two weeks? What? Nickelodeon All Star Bro, what yes sir, fuck? yes oh, fucking sir. That game look, bro, it has the good net code. How can it not be good? No, that game is about to be fire. That's a day Dude, one that for game me. It's gonna be fire. It's gonna be on fucking Evo. Mark my fucking words. I think the Evo list is already out. Oh, oh actually no, next year, it's dog. probably gonna be next, next year's Evo. Next, next year's yeah, Evo. Next year. Telling you, dog. Shit's gonna like, fucking hit hard. Fire. I don't got nothing. For our, yeah, hey, for... but he'd love a place. I'm not All-Stars. listen, listen, listen. This is the one thing hey, that you will hold on. Time out, time out. This is the one thing you will not see me say. I will never say Super Smash Bros. is bad, and I'll never say a clone of Super Smash Bros. is bad because I would not want my Super Smash Bros. clone to be bashed in that way. Okay, just hey, because, listeners, listen, go I, don't back about ma- two weeks I don't have to make myself feel better by disrespecting other about. people. That's what I'm saying. I don't have to do that. You know why? Go because back as, two episodes because as an all-star, and listen no, no, to them shit As an smash. all-stars player, okay, we don't have to disrespect each other. We don't have to. You know why? Because Kratos is going to do that. All right? That is exactly... We have a character for that. We don't have to be disrespectful to everybody else. You know Dude. why? Because we can't get a second game. That's didn't, why. We're keeping our mouths. We are like Bleach fans waiting on the new anime to drop. We don't want to talk shit about <laughs> nobody until we get our first trailer, okay? That's it. That's it. You're going to see me be quiet, all right? I'm I not going to have nothing have... bad to say. What? What is it, Deacon? Didn't Didn't Sony rent out Kratos to Soul Calibur at one point? Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, it was fire. It was fire, go, then, too. Go... The listeners go back, and Soul go back Calibur. two weeks. Soul Calibur also has Link in one of their games in the GameCube Vader, version. Yoda. They, they had uh, Yoda, Darth Vader. Vader, Yoda. Um, Spawn was in one. Um, Come on, bro. This is these crossovers are nothing new. Okay, so we gonna get we gonna get another Smash Bros. One day we're gonna get another fucking Nickelodeon. We're gonna get Brawlhalla too. We're gonna get all that shit. Sir. Just wait, just wait till niggas get their shit together. Okay, and get me an All Stars too. When I give me a motherfucking also Ed Boon himself, okay, is gonna come oh down from the heavens. He's gonna dude come down gonna, from the heavens. Dude is gonna bring he Ed Boon gonna, up so many times. Going, Ed Boon, he is bro, gonna come he's gonna be through. eighty years old That's and fine. say, Boo, "Ed Boon, Ed Boon's talking so about let me, it." Let me, ask you a let me ask you a question. Do you feel like you couldn't do your job at Ed eighty Boon years old? Day, Ed for days. Do you feel like you couldn't do a good job of uh, something that you've done your entire life at eighty years old? You think you couldn't do a good job? You make it to eighty? Probably not. Yeah, my hands would be all shaking and shit. Like, my back gonna be fucked up. My posture, all I'm all. I can't believe you got shit. me making video games at 80 years <laughs> uh, old. <laughs> uh, uh, for the four listeners that own an Xbox, Sly Away Camp, Butcher's Cut, Marco Skirt, Sphinx, and the Curse of the Mummy Costume Quest. Only game worth a damn out of those four is Costume Quest. Listen, man, I'm chilling. You know why? Because Game Pass is on PC. Game Pass is on PC. Yeah, you don't need that, bro. You have the How we getting skills? Actually, I do need it. I I Shut do desperately need it. Oh, DJ. <laughs> but I just can't I can't I can't I can't I can't do anything with it. Honestly, it's I, okay. You you're just you haven't grasped a full hold of Well, what's no, no, no. Here's really the going Here's the thing. Right so That's there all. was there was an article. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. There was an article stating that uh PlayStation 5 is supposed to be getting further backwards compatibility uh because they want they want more accessibility for players to have it. I think it was like a yeah, cloud service uh, survey, and they it were like, changed. "Oh, would you prefer?" Oh, the page they right were out like, of "Xbox book." Yeah, they were like, "Would you prefer to download your games or be able to stream them?" And download. I, I would prefer to download it because if your internet goes out, you know, yes. you're kind of fucked. So it's like some of that other shit. Plus, I think it's like seventy percent of America doesn't have like high speed internet or some shit like that. Like it was, Ooh. it was a weird statistic, bro. I mean, Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water, so I'm, I mean. I believe it. So, I mean, 
So hold on, let me see if I can find this article. So I'm I thinking really, you really had the, you know what? I, I'm thinking maybe one day we could possibly get PlayStation One classics, at least make them for sale. You know what I mean? Because then I would be able to at least buy the games that I want to play. You know, like I don't oh, think it's, it's the same problem with like, oh, this is such a big problem because uh, well, what's the name? Maximilian dude, he he just started like a, oh, a Twitch guy. thing or uh, Digger Twitter Digger. thing called a free free Marvel Marvel Combat or free <laughs> yeah free Mar free Marvel versus Capcom too because there is no legal way you can play that they don't it's not on the store for the PS3 uh, it's not on any store on any on I any think I own the disc anything. for that one I think that's if the one I do disc, own if you own the disc that's literally, literally like maybe two hundred dollars right there actually maybe a little because you don't have maybe you, if you have the box. Then oh, it may be a little more, mm -hmm. but even with the CD, like that's still that's still bank because people are still trying to play that game right now because you can't. I'm not selling that game so for like, two hundred dollars. I'd rather break it in half. Two hundred okay. bucks. I'd rather keep. I'd rather keep it. Twenty-five dollars on eBay. Uh, yeah, that's not uh, enough money for me. Okay. Nah, man, I need like a grand. Cool. I need like a grand. Right, something no. that's uh -huh. something right. that's gonna pay oh. some bills. You know what I mean? You can you can still fucking no. Okay, whatever. Anywho, it's the problem. No, you can still that, fucking like, what? You can still what? No. it's... I don't give a shit. Um, it's a problem that this fucking guy. A lot of old game, a lot of old games, you can't play them anymore, and a lot of people want to play them not because oh they're the best. It's just like me personally, I go, I go on like a month long, like just going back to old games, and I just fucking play them for like a long time to like, like re-energize my. Because like when I get burned out, I play old shit, or I play like shit on Steam. But most of the time, three hundred plus. Yeah. Hmm. That's why you started it. Uh, free Marvel vs. Capcom 2. 234. I gotta hit up some Goodwills. Bruh. Yeah, you might be able to find it. They'd be like, sure, I have this game, uh, ten dollars. <laughs> Bitch, I'll give you eight. I'm just sure. I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised that uh Sony is getting into the into that considering they're like vehemently against it. I think yeah. I think it's only because of backlash, and I think they're really trying to add more features to a console with no games. So <laughs> I mean, I mean, especially if you can make it a monthly service and you can you can do kind of like Audible or something like that and you pay like, uh, say it's like four or they add it. See, this is what I thought was interesting. They have their they own streaming the service. Plus already. That's what I'm saying. They have their own you streaming service for, the, for, internet, for movies, even though you TV. Don't fucking need to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they already have like all of these multiple versions of different streaming services. Like, they have the, the uh, PlayStation View which you can watch Sony branded content, which is like, you know, uh, all the Spider-Man movies, uh, Men in Black, any Columbia pictures, any Sony pictures, anything like that. Uh, all of, almost all Ooh. of Adam Sandler's cal catalog is available through that. Um, West only Bro his old shit. Yeah, 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 only his old shit. Cause I think it goes up to like maybe 2005. And 50 then after bucks that, a, a month? Of his, for what? See, for Fine. view. Oh. Ugh. Also, it's discontinued Ooh. and no longer available. For you to sign up. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh like, my god! The thing is, a perfect a perfect example is uh, what's it called? Nintendo. Nintendo has a backlog of oh Nintendo, yeah Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games. I was going to bring that up. Super uh, uh, N sixty four and games. Sega Genesis games. You know what's crazy though? They still refuse to put Pokemon on those. Pokemon Snap's gonna be on. Why would they want, do that? I want Pokemon Emerald. Without Bro, having Pokemon it to be Snap's... illegal. First, okay, Pokemon Emerald was not a was well, not a console game, first off. No, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So hear me out before you jump down my fucking throat, specifically Tony. So there's 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 certain Game Boy games, Game, game Boy Advance games, Game Boy like like Nintendo DS games, those type of games that I would love to be able to play on a Switch. That's what I'm saying. That's no. literally all I'm saying. Because I want to play Mega Man Battle Network, but clearly fucking Capcom and Nintendo are not going to give me that. That's what I'm saying. No. So it when you talk about backwards not... compatibility, there are like a <clears throat> slew of games, like tons of other fucking games. Like if I wanted to play Nintendogs, how the fuck am I going to play Nintendogs? But who yeah. plays Nintendogs? Also, just emulate a fucking Bitch! DS. That's what I'm saying. It's not legal. It's um... not legal. Uh, technically, it but is you missed that part because you were trying to jump down my original. motherfucking throat oh, with the it's, fucking it's rebuttals everywhere. Area. Actually, no, no, no. It is legal because it's uh, what is it? You're not taking money out of Nintendo's bank or because they're not making the game anymore. 
it's only it's legal it's only if you legal. have the original copy. I, that's what I, that's what I'm pretty sure. It's only legal if you have the original. No, I'm pretty yeah, I'm is. pretty sure it work it works under the way where it if they're not making money off of the the like the thing, if they're still producing it, then it's illegal. If it's not, then it's like a really weird gray well, area. Well, if they keep their IP current on it, they can argue that. Yeah, too. So I gotta wait seventy years. Gotcha. E either way, uh, probably more fucking it's because yeah, it's Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo um, has a fucking copy IP copyright that lasts indefinitely. Yeah. No. So like the the thing is, uh, it's. I, I personally like the Nintendo thing just because at least we're getting something rather than nothing. And especially since they keep they keep adding games to it. So like maybe when I'm 80, I'll finally get to see Yoshi's Tetris attack there, even though technically you can play. Yeah, because the original one is on that. The one that they, they had in Japan, even though the one I played was Yoshi. Uh, I just I don't, I don't know what the correct answer is for this. Because, like, you can't just expect all of the backlog to come out, especially since com companies are so, like, why would we give these guys all these games for free when we can just we can resell them? them? pay for it again. Yeah. That's, that's, why it's, that's why I'm questioning, like, I want to play Pokemon games on that. It's like, why would, why would Nintendo do that when they're probably just going to resell them as a remaster or whatever? I mean, can you hurry up with them? Because I... Uh, sure, I guess. Yeah, I would like to do a... Uh, I would like to do some... Pokemoning on the big screen that isn't Sword and Shield. Yeah, Sword and Shield sucked. No okay. cap. Wasn't great. I mean, that service is pretty interesting, though. The uh, the backlog for, for Nintendo. It, it, it gives more value to the online. That's why, that's why I like Nintendo's online more than, like, fucking Microsoft or PS4s. Because it's like, why... Why do I have to pay for internet? Oh, you get these free games. Most of them are trash. What's the other... Like, what's the other to reason? To be fair... The biggest appeal for Nintendo's online is you're paying for the internet again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but you also get you like I said, you also get the get backlog the of games. That's what that's yeah. why I like. I don't use online, but we got it because of the backlog of games. I I wish Sony would do something like Microsoft did with Game Pass. Give me one flat fee, I get my online, and I get a dedicated library of games I can browse from. I want. Yeah, that. I I think we're at that point where, like console gaming is like at that point where they're like evolving and sony's just like no i want to i want to keep where we're at i want to keep you guys paying me internet even though you really don't have to we just yeah. charge you at this point it's so stupid Which like at crazy. this point if you want to charge if you want to charge us for internet just give us some better benefits like a catalog of playstation 1 classics playstation 2 classics and playstation 3 classics would be fucking great obviously you would have like the first party games there but then you'll have also other games there as well you might they had know. that playstation fucking... now thing and that was that's garbage Ooh, though that's like, terrible yeah, yeah. Though. it's, it's terrible garbage. the catalog for that that's was a... not great that's that's the other thing that i don't think so other companies are really like seeing the bigger picture because if they have it on their on their uh on their website they can they can they can see how many people are playing that those games and if like let's say a million people are playing uh specifically like, to the j that the game that jay loves people could be like or they could be like wow a lot of people are playing this uh this this fighting game the sony fighting fighting game we should probably make another one yeah like, but i mean out of how many fucking i guess that doesn't again, matter at that point like i said they could they could like see how many how many how many numbers are each game is garnering and just go from there or just make a remaster of the game. It wasn't really... even just a library, though, for the PlayStation Now thing, going back to that. Like, how it functioned yeah. was just terrible. It was bad. I wanted that PlayStation Now to work good so badly, but it was like, all right, fine. Because they had some stuff on there that was yeah. like, I, I want to replay this. But the, the fact that when you tried to play it, oh, my God, it was terrible. I, I was on a wired connection, and it was lagging for me. Like, Man. I really want to like this, so I don't have to buy a PS4. But it's just not up. It's not up to snuff. Yeah. Oof. Don't worry though, boys. We're just gonna keep paying for internet or the, yeah. the internet. I'm Need not. These shit, services. Fuck that. Yes, sir. I know. Yes, sir. You know what you don't have to pay for though. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting too. I'm, waiting. I'm also waiting. Manga minute. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Deacon, so this you is have just self promo. Go ahead. No, Deacon, you have overly long self promo. 
I just wanted to be quiet. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go ahead. You have the floor. You have the floor. Uh, Literally, the entire be, podcast I'm, podcast is listening right now. You I wanted to get a rise. I wanted to get a rise on the plank. I'm glad I did. Mother. Hey. <laughs> so ain't no have, uh, No, I got it right now, motherfucker. Oh, Can I okay. read? Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> oh my up. god. We've been waiting a half hour for you to get the system, Deacon. Has oh, half an hour, bitch. I, it was ten seconds at most. I'm not gonna lie, Deacon quiet. needed a warm up. Not ready? When he was trying to do the manga minute earlier. <laughs> I'm trying to ask just... okay. Any have any of y'all read the Hunter's Guild Red Hood yet? You I obviously know I have not. Okay, DJ so, said I can't, I can't read. read. <laughs> <laughs> Blank, have you read it? No, I don't read either. Okay, Tony. I think no, I can't read. You don't them. read. It, I it? haven't. I haven't even seen anything. I haven't been reading. Explain this, it to me like know. I'm five, Deacon. All right. So, The Hunter's Guild Red Hood is a newish manga that has recently gained some uh, traction, for good reason, man. The world of The Hunter's Guild Red Hood takes place in like a fantasy light world. Dragons are fully extinct. People are like, oh yeah, dragons are from fairy tales, right? But werewolves, witches, and other shit like that, they're still a thing. Um, the the Hunter's Guild, Red Hood, its goal is to make all these things extinct and become just fairy tales that people don't remember. So one day, werewolves uh, are they're just people that woke up and started craving flesh. And it's a general consensus that it was a hex from a witch that is long gone now. Mm. Um, so that's how the werewolves come into play. But the story follows a young boy named, I've never said this name out loud, Velo, Velu, V E L O U. Don't know if there's any Vel- French speakers out there. Let, let me ask you a question. Does he have any strong characteristics or is he just He's in the a middle? Bitch boy. Of oh course. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to get into it, bro. He lives in a village named Kasoka, <clears throat> Kasoka Village. Uh, his family was killed in a werewolf attack. So the village kind of came together raised him kind of like you know a la naruto except he's not an outcast everyone likes it. what the fuck ain't nobody raised about? naruto that nigga raised himself the third hokage yeah, looked he paid, really his, he paid for his house bro that's government that? okay well <laughs> well for a child government so Monday. he was on uh, section eight yeah <laughs> yeah you ain't see the housing there naruto man, was on section he was eating ramen so, every crazy. day bro he had to make them food stamps last bro Come so, on, yeah, that the, was a struggle. Ain't no kid mayor, eats ramen every single day on purpose. The mayor took a special interest in that in that young kid. I'm not saying his fucking name again. Uh, teaching him the basics, like how the mayor looks after the village and everything. You know, showing basically raising him how a man takes care of people. Mm-hmm. So one day, the mail the mayor tells the young kid that I sold all of my possessions um, after the last werewolf attack. We know that they're living in the woods. I sold everything. I bought a hunter from the uh, from the Red Hood Guild. They're going to come kill that werewolf. So the hunter comes up into the village. Looks like a little kid, like uh, Velu. Velo. Are these spoilers? Huh? Are these spoilers? No, this is chapter one. Oh, okay. Right, I'm, I'm sorry. Spoil any... I'm not going to spoil it. DJ also that? forgot to say he does not pay At attention. At the end... At the no, end, I'll, no, I'll the was... dragon comes back to life and kills everyone. That's the yeah. end. There you Dragons go. Dragons are extinct. You weren't paying attention. Damn. So, after except the, for this I one, I just wanted to make sure we were still on the same page. Wait, in this a quite is, literal this is sense. chapter one. This is literally chapter one. Okay, I told you I can't spoilers. read. Proceed. All right, you weren't reading There's anything, reading but here. I digress. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> just, just go ahead. It, DJ went so long without talking. He had to remind people he was here. Just go, just go ahead. Okay, okay. I'm listening. So the little the hunter comes up, looks like a little girl, same age as the young boy, and so the young boy starts ridiculing her, talking about like, "Oh, you're you're no older than me. There's no way you can kill a werewolf. These things, these things will murder you." And she beats so, his ass. Yeah. The, well, the mayor steps in and talks to the kid like, "Calm your shit, okay? We paid for her. She's gonna do her job." Oh my god. So the the mayor's like, "Hey, they paid for." Her. Yeah, he sold the mayor sold Bro. everything he owns. Were you not paying attention? Homie, ta- homie talking. But they paid for the why did he they pay for the Yeah, he paid for the hunter. Why did you for the imply hunters, that, though? DJ? Imply You're what? So sick. Imply <laughs> what? You said what am I implying? Hold your questions until the end, please. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> So the mayor's like, all right, you're going to go be her guide because you know the mountain's better. She's going to protect you. So he's like, all right, I'll go with her. So they get up to the, the woods and they start tracking the werewolf and they hear a scream. They run to the scream. They find an old lady living in the mountains and just a pile of smoldering bones sitting in the in the room. And she's like, it was the mayor. The mayor was the, the werewolf. He tried to eat me, so I had to burn him. And yada yada yada, old ladies the werewolf, they get into a fight, she gets eaten, plants a bomb inside her, blows up. That's and the story of Red Riding Hood. 
the, that's the first chapter. He, and then she's like, hey, I want to take you with me. to That's the that's like verbatim Red Riding Hood. That's uh, I don't crazy. think Red Riding Hood put a bomb inside the wolf. I mean, that's essentially the story of how Granny got out. Yeah. The old yeah, lady yeah. was the werewolf. Yeah, Pinkin, I'm sorry. You have that's to go through crazy. This right, it's it's fine, bro. It's no, no, no. It's fire, bro. Hold up. It's, it's a super good read. Deacon, yo, this who is ate, this who is... ate the lady? Uh, no one ate the lady. No, no, no. Okay, who so uh, no, 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 no. I got this. I got this. So, DJ, okay. you know the story of Red Riding Hood, right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. how the little girl is supposed to be bringing grandma some 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 food, some cookies, yes. and all this other shit, yes. right? But there's a werewolf that ate her. Right. Now this is Wolf. a twist. To where somebody was hired to come and hunt the werewolf, right? But it turns out mm -hmm. the grandma did not get eaten by a werewolf. She is the werewolf. Oh, I got you. That's that you. shit is fire, bro. That shit sounds I fire. You. Now so, I will say well, this, Deacon. This is so what we, you we do. busting granny hit. We busting granny hit. We busting granny okay, open. I apparently, I got. So <laughs> oh wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> busting yeah, granny I open. A, I got a picture for you guys. Trying to see if there's a little girl in here. Man, so, part of the guild, the guild guild. No, what? <laughs> you were not paying attention, Ooh. man. <laughs> so, just to give you some characters, this is the hunter that they ended up hiring. Mm -hmm. It's the little girl. Yeah, but she turns into a an adult because she's cursed from a witch. Right, right. And let okay. me guess, she's wearing red. Uh, the because she's from color. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Anyway, I assume, <laughs> I assume, I assume, I assume, yeah, that's, that's the, everybody in the, in the guild is, and is 40. So in the Red Hood guild, you see what I mean? Just like, so you know what the, uh, the actual werewolf looks like. It's not like a typical werewolf. Here it is. That look extraterrestrial right there. That, that don't, is, that ain't. Oh yeah. We got to bust that open. Yeah. No, 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 but yeah. that you buy, you buy yourself. It's a super good read. There's only like eleven chapters. This sounds right fire, now. Deacon. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I would watch videos if you told the story of each chapter. I will do that then. Damn, that's beautiful. That shit was poetry. Content. Quite, quite literally, cause it, I wasn't putting it together until we got to the end, cause DJ was in the way of you yeah. Know, asking he, dumb he really I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I wonder if they have like a Hansel and Gretel one. That'd be pretty Probably. fire. Um, I I mean I read all the chapters. There's a couple other characters that pull from fairy tales, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DJ didn't hey, want me yo. to spoil nothing. Hey so. man, that'd be pretty sick. No, go if ahead. All it go is, is you just kind of reminds me of the comic, uh, uh, fable, fable. Yeah, it's called. It, it like, def like definitely give out vibes like that, but it's it's pretty mm -hmm. fucking gruesome. There's a, a a panel in the manga where this kid just takes an axe and cuts <laughs> the werewolf, and just looks inside like the disemboweled body. There's the bomb sitting there, so it's pretty good. Jeez, yeah, sounds intense as hell. It's a good read. Um, it it definitely gives off vibes of like other mainstream manga, like fucking. There's like some Naruto in there. You feel like jobless reincarnation with one of the characters later on. Yeah, uh, Wolf Wife that's, is Wolf Wife is also in there. That's dangerous because uh, a lot of manga hit it, it, it either hits or miss. Yeah. Um, when they do shit like that. But I feel like it it pulls like small enough from enough where it doesn't feel like super cookie like it's cutter. just ripping off yeah it, it makes its own thing out of it that's good then yeah but yeah go read it it's great Woo! deacon i'm so oh, proud of you man God damn. Yeah, i'm gonna take this I time on too. the podcast because uh you know this is wind down time clearly um i i would really fuck with this i would really fuck mm -hmm. with watching these videos um i'm not even gonna lie because that shit this particular one sounds hype as fuck Oh, it's great. And that, that other one that you were talking about uh, last time we did Manga Minute, the Yakuza one. Mm. Ooh, boy, that shit. That shit sounds dope. That's a dope. good read. Way mm -hmm. of the House mm -hmm. Husband is great. Mm -hmm. That was great, dude. I'm, I'm caught up with it. I'm waiting. Hell yeah. Mm. I, can't, I can't wait to see what next week's is. Oh, I gotta read again. Fuck. Yeah, you do. You do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a new one. It could be a continuation of one that you covered already. Hmm. I wish um, I could read. Shut the fuck up. I feel that. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. No man. wonder why you didn't read the contract before it's you okay. signed it. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Damn. No, I didn't sign no contract. He said, yeah, I know. They said, yeah, they were like, you can't read? read? No problem. <laughs> no, he he just turn you you, say right you can't there. read? That's okay. Pay you on commission. <laughs> All right. That's pretty much it. Um, Anybody got anything they want to announce? Anything you want to get off your chest this week? Anything like that? 
Yeah, <laughs> man, I got some. Oh, All right, man. Well, Frank, here we go. Here we go. No, no. Everybody make sure, ready. make sure y'all support Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, one of the greatest games of our revolution. Just this of our revolution, of our revolution, of revolution. Yeah, yeah. Revolution fire. Of gaming, fire. Revolution. revolution of gaming, man. He's fired, bro. All right. Shut the fuck you up. You obviously DJ. been doing things that's not Pepsi. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, who wants to sign us off? Cause I'm tired. Y'all are clowns. If you appreciate I'm what we I'm did. Go ahead and follow, rate on all the applications. Go down to the description box below. You'll find everybody was on the podcast there. Uh, that's it. I don't know how Jay typically ends it. Other than uh, that, you some, gotta, man, soul, you gotta brother. tell the people, man. Soul. Be sure to keep. You know exactly head. what you need to say. You know exactly what you need to say. Stop acting Be like sure, you don't. Say it with me. Stop acting Be like you sure. don't. Be sure to say it. Say uh, that shit. You come on be here. Sure to, to, wait, wait, wait. Hold sure on. How the, the kid. fuck? How the fuck you come on here every single week? And, but you ashamed to say the slogan of the podcast. Be how sure fuck, to. How the fuck you gonna keep doing that, bro? If you don't say that shit, if you don't say that shit, uh, don't you be in here week. looking like no apple. Listen, be sure, be you sure need to, to keep say the it. There you go. See, say it with a little was more that, enthusiasm. Was it that hard? No, no, no. He need to do that again, Jay. He need to do that again. I am not going to be berated by somebody who can't read. (laughs) Obviously, you can't say nothing. Hey, holler at me when you read it. When you you read a sponsor segment, let me know. Then I'll make sure to piss some That reminds me. I I I need you to do the ad read for next week, too, Deacon. I need you to do the ad read for next week. Teej really really enjoyed the last one, so I really need you to do next week's. I'm going to write it out for you. you. Just so that way. And you know what? Don't do that weird thing where you talk about your dyslexic in the middle, because they really did not vibe with that. They oh really were God. just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, nah. we, we really did not vibe with that part. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't know it was in there until you sent me the file. So we listened, me and the representative listened to the file at the same time. I said, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> That's not in the script. I had two, I thought I sent you the one where I cut it out. No, man, no, you didn't. And it made it sound like, <laughs> T- the way you, you worded it made it sound like Teej is the thing that gave you dyslexia, and they just really did oh not, my have, God. They really did not <laughs> appreciate that shit. They said, ooh, do you think he could redo it? And we just, we just took it out of the episode. We just took it out, I'm, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop recording now. <laughs>